Yo, <laughs> good morning. This is how my hair looks in the morning. And yeah, it's not the best. So that's why I just put it back on a ponytail. Um, but it's Saturday morning. Um, it is, don't have my watch on me, but it's about 5.30 a.m. Meeting up with one of my clients to hit some sprints this morning and figured, you know, let's toss on a camera and put a YouTube video together. Um, so <clears throat> just getting ready, of course, brushing the teeth, had a little bit of breakfast already. Um, got my supplements here that I take every morning, so vitamins and then fish oil. Um, these two I take later on in the day. Um, but yeah, man, so for breakfast, I just had a protein shake. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I actually have an allergic reaction to whey. But when I heat up my whey protein, I don't have that allergic reaction, especially if it's like baked in a food like a pancake or some protein uh, bread that we might make like banana bread. But if I don't do that, I can't really have whey. So I thought maybe I would just put it in the microwave and see if it would give me the same effect. But I'm actually feeling it in my throat right now, which sucks, especially for some, before some sprints. There's, I can't even talk that, that well. So that kind of sucks. Um, but whatever. No one cares. Let's go. <laughs> Rachel, say what's up to the people. Say what's up, birthday girl. <laughs> Got the sprints done. We only did 10 sprints, so normally how we like to go about it is one warm-up lap at a very slight jogging pace just to get the blood flowing, get loose, and then we do some dynamic stretching, and then we get into the sprint. So we're not even sprinting until about 10, 15 minutes in to getting the body moving because if you're doing full-on sprints, there's a high likelihood if you don't warm up, someone's going to pull. <laughs> so we don't want any of that. We want to avoid all that. So you want to make sure that you're properly warmed up. The, the muscles are feeling good. The joints are feeling good before you get into it. So we went ahead, knocked out sprints. We only did 10. So how we do, we did 50 yards. So half a football field, walk it back. It's a minute intervals in between. So if you're going at full speed on a sprint, it shouldn't take you, even if you're going slow, more than 15 seconds to get to that 50 yard line. <laughs> if it's taking you longer than that, we got some work to do, but it's all right, it's all about progress, right? So your sprint should be about 10 to 15 seconds, right? A minute rest in between, boom, right back at it again. So that's how we do it, 10, 10 uh, sprints. And then since we haven't done this consistently in a while, gonna build that up, probably get to the point where each week we add a sprint um, until we get to 15, 18 max, right? So shouldn't take you more than 30 to 40 minutes total to do the whole warm up sprints and cool down lap when you're done. So it was great, felt good. And now uh, just got done taking this birthday girl. Say what's up, birthday girl. The back, the, this is Rachel's car. So Rachel has her own car and it's super dusty in here because we be over here hitting hikes and dog parks and everything else. But it's her birthday, so wanted to take her to do her favorite thing, which is chase her ball. Um, she's having a little bit of heat stroke symptoms a lot during the day, so we actually have to go pretty early. So it's 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m. Got some runs in with her, she's feeling good. Now I'm about to stop in, we're at Target right now, get her a bucket, not a bucket, but maybe like five of her favorite balls and um, let her have her day, right? <laughs> um, after that, I'm gonna get some food and then we're gonna hit the gym. So I typically wouldn't suggest that you lift before or the, uh, excuse me i typically would not suggest that you do cardio before you lift unless you have more time in between like i don't have too much time so we we did the sprints at about 6 30 and then um hitting the gym at at nine so there's some time in between which is better than no time and i'm gonna have a meal in between as well but ideally you wanna really try to separate those out. I just had to do it this way because my client in the morning couldn't go to the gym or couldn't 
um, hit sprints later in the day. So it is what it is. But ideally, you want to make sure you're not letting your cardio interfere with your resistance training. And it's not the end of the world for me because I'm pretty advanced. And also the sprints involved legs and we're training upper body. So if I were to be training legs today, I definitely wouldn't have sprinted before. But just keep that in mind. You don't want to have that interference effect if you're trying to maximize your muscle retention and your muscle building. Um, but yeah, just wanted to point that out. Otherwise, we're going to get back to the day. Well, uh, my client Jordan didn't make it, so it's just me today. Um, didn't even answer his phone, so hopefully everything is okay. I assume he's probably sleeping because it's about 9 a.m. Um, I'm at Esporta, which typically you guys know I like to train in the warehouse gyms, but sometimes you gotta go to commercial gym. And we're here now, and I don't really like taking videos at the gym, so at these type of gyms because you know they might kick you out. So trying to be a little bit discreet so I don't have my camera, just got my phone out. Um, we got upper body on the agenda, so I probably won't talk too much through this. Just gonna hit my sets, get at least one set on camera and call it a day. But first set felt pretty good, on to the next. Next we're going to a back exercise. We got a chest supporter row, going with the underhand grip, trying to keep my elbows tight to my body and really get my elbows as far back behind me as we can. Love to do the chest support as you guys know, that way you actually have a brace there so you can load heavier. And this machine is pretty solid, so I like it. Got 160 on, going anywhere between eight to 10 reps. I already did one set, first set I got 10 at 160, so I assume I'll probably get eight, nine, or 10 here, but you know how it is. We just do it, don't worry about the reps. <sighs> Next exercise is going to go with the vertical pull. So we just did a horizontal. And typically, right now, in the last couple of training phases, I've been trying to focus on my pull more so than my push exercises. So I've been starting with um, pull workouts normally, like pull exercises first. But today, I started with the chest press. So the next two, I wanted to go into a pull. That way, I don't burn myself out too much by doing all push and then pull. So I like to go back and forth or focus on the area I'm trying to focus in on the most towards the beginning. So, lat pull downs, staple in a back routine, of course. So just trying to keep that chest up, minimize losing a lot of control and get it done. You know I can't talk right <laughs> when I'm in the middle of a workout. <sighs> Up next, I'm gonna hit an incline chest press. I actually wanted to do um, some cable presses. However, all the cables are taken. That's another problem with some of these commercial gyms. They can get really crowded really easily. But it's all right. I was gonna do cable incline chest press. I'm just gonna do it with the barbell. I should be okay. Um, this first set I'm going at 225. It's probably gonna feel heavy, so wish me luck.
Yeah, six reps was not what I wanted to go for. I was trying to get closer to eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and decrease the weight. Incline press, I ended up dropping to 185. That second set, I got eight reps, so I was happy with that. Only did two sets, and now we're on the chest fly, pec deck. Personally, not a big fan of this exercise. I prefer the one with the handles out wide, but again, they're all taken at the gym right now, so this is the only one available. So it will have to do the job. I'm gonna go for just two sets here, and then get back to a pool exercise. Going to biceps next, so we just got here, seated preacher curl. One of my favorites for biceps, keeping it simple, nice and stable. Three sets, anywhere from eight to 12 reps. Next up, we're gonna do some overhead tricep extension. One of the ones I've been adding into my regimen more recently. The only thing I don't like about this is the setup. So I can never get my feet stable like I want unless I have my butt all up against this rail. And that's a, it's a little sus, you know what I'm saying? So, but the best way to just get into position is just kneel down, grab it overhead, and then just stand up from there. So a lot of people are twisting and turning all over the place. But then once you're locked in, I like to put my heel, you probably can't see it in the frame, against the rail here. So I have some extra stability. And then I drive up and get to work. I go for a little bit higher volume on this one. So I knew from 12 to 15 normally. Last exercise, it's gonna be a super set actually, and do some lateral raises out to the side, going for about 12 to 15. Then when it could bend completely over, so your lower back isn't loading as much because you're literally just hanging here and going out for the rear delts. Also 12 to 15 reps. And that's gonna be it for the session. Let's get it done. Got three sets of this, I already did one. So here's set two. And that's a wrap, y'all. Game over. Well, I got one more set, but that's a wrap for the video. That's done, it's over. Felt pretty good, honestly. And it was actually a pretty good change of pace being at Esporta, just because some of the machines felt a little bit more fluid, like the row machine, um, the cables, um, the bicep curl machine. So the machines here, are pretty solid. It's just gonna get pretty crowded if you come at the wrong time. It's hard to record content for you guys and for myself because I like to see how I'm pushing myself and even just having the camera on actually helps motivate me 
to get, you know, an extra rep, even though I'm always going to get that extra rep. But you know what I'm saying? The camera is on. You got to show out. And then, um, yeah, the only it's not even a negative, but it's expected when you go to a gym that you went to for many years. So this Esport is in my hometown in Centerville, Ohio. I grew up in this gym. I started going to this gym when I was maybe like 16 or 17 years old. So my mom used to be an aerobic instructor at this gym. I worked at this gym at one point and you still see people that you've seen through the, that whole transformation, you know, the whole however many 15 16 years that it's been there's still people that i see that are that i've known the whole time and uh, that if people that have seen me grow up if they're a little bit older than me or people around my age that you know we've all gone and stayed in the same area obviously i've been in california here and there but i come home and i go to this gym typically so all that to say sometimes i get in there and i get caught up in having conversations which happened today a couple times but that's not you know it's it's not going to always happen it just happens the first time you go to a place in a while you see people you haven't seen for a long time and you know you check in which is you know that's much appreciated that you know they want to know how my son is doing i want to know what's going on with them uh, hopefully everything is going going well and whatnot i'm just rambling so but yeah you get the idea now we're going to head over to my favorite um, muffin, which is my one of my favorite breakfast spots, little brunch spot. My family's over there. My aunt's in town. So might as well take you guys along with me for that. And um, yeah, didn't really plan to record it, but hey, I'll, I'll show you guys what I like to get. So this, this is the one right here, the blueberry coffee cake. But here's the whole selection. We got banana chocolate chip, Oreo cream, cherry cheesecake, chocolate cheesecake, coffee cake, cheesecake, a lot of cheesecake, chocolate marble, cinnamon bun, cranberry orange, apple pie. There's a lot. I can't name them all. I've had a lot of different flavors, but my favorite is by far this one. The banana nut is pretty solid as well. Sorry, there's a glare. You can't really see it that well, probably. But yeah, the mini muffins at the bottom, the Oreo cream is lit. They're all pretty good. Then I always get the same sandwich every time. It's just a chicken sandwich. It has, let's see if I can find it on the menu real quick. It's just a grilled chicken sandwich. It has a grilled chicken breast, of course, lettuce, tomato, tomato um, mayonnaise, and that's it. But the key ingredient is the bread. It's a cheddar twist. Can't be calorie friendly, but I'm cool on that right now. It tastes amazing. <laughs> I'm not tracking today, so it's all good. Just waiting on the family to come by. Eric will be here, a little maverick. So it just went right straight from the gym, which is really convenient. When I used to train at Esporto when I was younger, we would go right from the gym to here, or maybe we'd have breakfast here, then go to the gym. This used to be a staple. And then in high school, we would come here on lunch break. So I've been going here also for about 15, 16 years. And it's one of my favorite spots. It's super simple, super chill, but it always gets the job done. Look at this right here. The bread is so good. Ooh, perfection. Say what's up to the camera. <laughs> this is my aunt. She's visiting from Florida. And you guys, of course, know my mom. So. <laughs> what's up, baby? What's up, little Mav? <laughs> you guys know my sister. My cousin's over here. Say hi to my vlog. What up? Matt, you're supposed to be sleeping, buddy. Oh, the Spider-Man mug matches the Spider-Man wallet. That's true. Gotta peep it. Gotta peep Facts. it yeah. Mine is very, it only looks harder because it's So I good. I have a super slight smell. Yeah, honey, get some more. I. What's up, <laughs> lipstick everywhere. I know, I'm like, why do you want my, you're going to have the Yeah. Come on. Yeah, DJ, you're going to all right, y'all, back home, about to spend a little time with birthday girl and the family. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one. Stay blessed. Remember, no wasted steps. Peace. Happy birthday to, to you. you. Wait. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rachel. Happy birthday to you. Okay. <laughs> oh, there she goes. <laughs>
One bite, buddy? <laughs> One bite? You're gonna need some water. <laughs> you yummy? Buddy, you're gonna need some water, buddy. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> Go get some water. <laughs> Go get some water, bro. Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday. She's gonna be looking forever. <laughs> See how long this is gonna last. For like a good, let me see. Did she get it. <laughs> oh, she's starting to get it. There you go. Say thanks, mom. You're welcome, baby. High five. High five. Yes, I can. I'm still working on High five. it. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Thank I'm you. still working on it. Perfect. <laughs> it's like, where's mom? Hi. <laughs> 